Hi, I'm Blake Mitchell, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do problem 19 of your chapter 7 practice test packet. So let's begin, shall we? The question states, to measure a stone face carved on the side of a mountain, two sightings 650 feet from the base of the mountain are taken. The angle of elevation to the bottom of the mountain of the face is 33 degrees, and the angle of elevation to the top is 36 degrees. What is the height of the stone face? Well, to get started, you're going to want to draw a picture with the information you've been given. Let's draw a picture. This is what the, this is what your picture should semi look like. Notice how I've labeled there are two triangles made. One from the one is the bigger triangle, which contains from the top of the face all the way down to the base of the mountain. The other containing the bottom of the face to the base of the mountain. Take note of that because that's going to be useful later. You have your 650 feet at the bottom where the two sightings occur, obviously. Now notice how right here the smaller triangle is 33 degrees and the bigger triangle is 36 degrees, but that's the whole triangle. So this triangle is obviously the drawing's not to scale, but you, hopefully you get the idea. So next, how you're going to solve this problem is we're going to separate the two triangles and gather the equations from there. So we'll start with the tau form. If you also noticed, if you, if you need to rewind, go, go ahead. I labeled the entire portion of the top of the face to the bottom y and from the bottom of the face to the base of the mountain, x. That's also going to be useful later on. Alright, so here's your, t here's your top triangle. You have y, which is the whole face to the base of the mountain. You have 650. And then you have the 36 degrees, which is the angle of elevation. Um, angle of elevation meaning upward versus angle of depression downward pretty self-explanatory and next you're going to want to gather the equation for the top triangle as well but what you're going to want to do is first what trigonometric function relates the opposite and adjacent side tangent Okay, so we're going to be using tangent. So you're going to say the tangent, 36 degrees, equals y over 650. Now, what you're going to want to do next, to get y by itself, multiply by 650 on both sides. So your final equation for the top triangle should be 650 tangent of 36 equals y. Now, don't go solving that yet because that's not going to be the answer. Hold on one second. I know you're eager to finish this problem. Alright, so next we're going to move on to the bottom triangle. Again, work, work out, see if you could work out this triangle, same as the top one. You're going to have X from the bottom of the face to the bottom of the mountain, 650 degrees, and the 33 degree angle. By the way, that's what your equation should look like. Now, you're going to do the same thing that you did for Y, for the top of the triangle. So you're going to say tangent of 33 equals X over 650. 
again, you're going to want to multiply both sides by 650 to make sure x is by itself on one side. So your final equation for that triangle should be 650 times the tangent of 33 degrees equals x. Like so. Now, can you remember the problem? It says, what is the height of the stone face? Remember how I told you that y was going to be the total distance from the top of the face to the base of the mountain? x with the triangle from the bottom of the face to the base of the mountain? Well, if you took out x, what are you going to have? The x triangle. If you take that out, what are you going to have? You're going to have the total height of just the face. Ah, so now what we're going to do is take the top triangle and you're going to subtract the bottom triangle from the top triangle. If you get what I'm saying, you're subtracting the smaller triangle from the big, from the big triangle. That was not a triangle tracing at first with my finger at all. So you can see the bigger triangle take the smaller one away, what are you left with? The height of the bigger face. So your next equation is going to look like 650 times the tangent of 36 minus 650 times the tangent of 33. just like that. Alright, so next you're going to want to grab a scientific calculator. Do your calculation there. So you're going to do And sometimes it helps to write down each individual solution of the problem if you wanted to. I like to. That's just me. Whatever floats your boat. And we're only going to be rounding, it doesn't say to the nearest foot, but we're going to do it for the sake of argument, we're just going to do the nearest foot. And if you did it my way, the individual way, where you got the individuals, you will get 472.25 minus 422.11. Now, if you do the math there, your answer will be 50.14. But we're rounding the nearest foot, so it's going to be about 50 feet. And there is your answer. That was problem 19. I hope it helped you. If you need help with problem 18, look, look me up. It will be very simple. It'll say chapter 7, practice test packet, problem 19. I'll see you later.